In this video, we're going to talk about assignments. We're specifically going to talk about how students can submit their work within Google Classroom. You'll notice here, I'm on my dashboard. I am pretending to be a student. There is no official student view within Google Classroom. So I've made a fake account and I'm pretending to be a student. This is what a student will see. The first thing you will notice is the class that they're in. This is my class. They will have a couple buttons and options for them to look at their assignments and submit them. The first thing I want to notice is on this card for this class. I have this option here. It says open your work for and then the class name. So if I click this, it will take me to all available work that this student could do. The next one is their folder. This shows all the work that they have done and any available work that they can do. It also shows things that have been submitted in the past that have already been graded. But most importantly are these two buttons here. The first one is the to do button. Now if I click this, it shows me every single class as a student in one screen and shows me all upcoming work. You'll notice none of this work has a due date, but if it did, it would show me exactly where it is. I could also filter between whatever classes I have. So for students, that to do button takes them to everything that's available that they need to reply to, or they need to upload, or they need to submit, or anything that the teacher's wanting them to do. This is also the area that they can find out what work is missing. Maybe there was a due date and it's passed. You'll notice this one was due August 21st. I didn't finish it. So I have missing work here available as well. And then any work that has been submitted, they could click the done tab and view their scores. They could also view their work again. The other feature here is the calendar. If work, an assignment, or a question has been posed and there's a date associated with it, it will go onto the calendar. They could directly click links from there and access their work. So those are a couple of quick ways simply from the dashboard that students can access their assignments as well as look at submitting. Now, if I go into the class, they have the option here to submit to the stream. Now, not all teachers have the stream turned on for students. That's okay. But let's say a teacher has a entry task here and they wanted students to be able to click the link go to Desmos, for example, and do a card sort. The students could come to the stream, click the link, do the card sort. It's now submitted. Teacher has to go to Desmos and look at it. Or maybe it's a Padlet, or maybe it's a Kahoot, or maybe it's a, your options are unlimited. The stream is a way for them to access. Under the classwork tab, students have more options. Once again, we have our view our work button. We have the calendar and we still have our folder. Those were also seen back on the dashboard. But when a student's ready to actually submit, they get to do different types of things. You'll notice here a student sees that this is a question. So if I was to work on a question, so let's just do this one. Why are you interested in using Google Classroom? I can view the question. And as a student, this is what I see. I see a page here. I see how many points it's available. If there was more information, let's say you had a video, I could watch the video here. Let's say there's a link to somewhere else for them to look at first before they reply. They could do that here. So this is what a question looks like, but where do they submit their work? Over here, you'll notice it says private comments. That's not it. Class comments. That's not it. And what those are, private comments are how to talk to the teacher. Class comments get shared out to everybody in the class. But in the top right corner, you're going to notice your answer. Notice it's viewable by others and it's assigned. So I haven't replied yet. So for them, they'll click on the link and they're going to type in their answer. So why are you interested in using Google Classroom? I am fond of the organization features. Okay, and they can click turn in. There we go. So replying to a question, they type in the box and they push turn in. 
If it was a multiple choice question, they could click between the multiple choice responses. You'll notice students have the option to edit here. If the teacher has that feature turned on, they can edit. They can also view other classmates' answers and reply to those. There we go. So there's other classmates' answers. I can now reply to those. The other type of work students can submit directly in Google Classroom that's assigned by the teacher are called assignments. So you'll notice down here we have two buttons. This is an assignment. So if I click on this, I can go into the assignment. You'll notice there's some class comments. It asked me for it to go to the doc. Okay, so I can see the class comments. The doc is over here that was created for me. I can click on the doc and I can do this assignment. You'll notice as a student, there's a turn in button directly in the assignment. They, once they're finished, they could turn in. So for this, an assignment is literally unlimited. What a teacher can do, they can have you go to a choose your own destination. You could go to a math game. You could anything and students can turn it in. Now there's something that happens a lot with students. Let's say this assignment, they accidentally click that X. Maybe they didn't understand. It's gone and they could mark as done and they've now submitted a blank assignment. As a teacher, you're probably going to get a lot of blank assignments. What usually happened is on accident, they click that X and it deletes just like it did for me. So they have two options at this point. Number one, they could add or create and re-upload it or make a new one from scratch. Or you'll notice this one says make a copy. It can remake my assignment. It can reattach what they accidentally deleted. Once it's reattached, they can turn it in. Notice it's now turned in. As a student, I could unsubmit and rework on it and turn it in again. Now, that's how you submit assignments and work within Google Classroom. You can use the stream. Let's say you go to a link, you can have them interact on that way. Um, as a teacher, you can mark as complete. Uh, they can reply to a question, true or false, multiple choice. They could also submit an assignment using docs and more. Okay, please reply to the discussion prompts below.